defense will be so important. Seiste at the back, Gian Granada Grayling in the midfield, and Mikhail Hansa can strike from everywhere. Match officials, Fabian Jabian Chafta, our referee, in the middle. He'll be looking to control the game, control those tempers as the players look to leave everything out on the pitch. One more step back. Stuart Jacobs in the number 10 jersey for Helderberg who play in black today with the red numbers on their back. Ready to get us underway for the penultimate game of the day. The third, fourth playoff between Saldana Bay and Helderberg. Now hands, hold, pass it, hold, Kick the seat from Saldana Bay. They will be desperate for victory here today to make it two out of three. That disappointing loss to Sample in which they really did well to keep themselves in the match against a much more powerful side, especially up front, winning that penalty try from the scrum, proving definitive in the end. The clearing kick from Saldana falls into the arms of Erhard Lamprecht. No hope. Just 20 years old, Lamprecht, such a youthful contest. side as Helderberg's side. Similar could be said for Saldana. They've got a couple of 19-year-olds playing in their back three regularly throughout this tournament. Handling error leads to a scrum, Saldana Bay ball. couple of players getting an opportunity Paul to impress the coaches Normie Noakes Joshua captain for Saldana doesn't start Ligan Jacobs is there for him Boy. and Sam Juice Samilio Carson coming off the bench as well he's replaced by Jordan Murray for Saldana picking up at the back it's Gerza the late pass from the captain Jacobs. He's now isolated on his own. The number nine takes the hit but gets the pass away to keep Saldana Bay on the front foot. Manre Jacobs. Short ball fed out by Goddard. Helderberg all over that ball. Let him go, let him go. Manre Jacobs with the tap and go. Told to be let go by referee Jafter. Eventually dragged back in by Lamprecht. Captain on captain there. Saldana Bay secure ball. It's cleared by Goddard. Couple of numbers on the outside. If they can move it quickly, Seister with a good hand, but Helderberg rushing up and making it tough. Is it is it tense? Come on, cut it out. You can see early on, just over two minutes, and already the Samoan Hansa and Jandre Lucas Injury. exchanging a few words and a few palms. But what a Easter weekend of rugby it has been here at the Transnet Sultana Stadium. He's been a big part of some of the close games, close wins, and just a loss against the reigning champion, Safkol. Tiki Jacobs will be so important, of course, with Divan Joshua, the incumbent captain of the pitch coming off the bench he is now the captain tiki jacobs and immediately you can see the kind of rugby he wants to play high tempo rugby try catch the very very well organized helderberg napping well that is their captain down getting treatment and up he gets you can hear the applause rising from the stands immediately yeah. well loved here in saldana in front of his home fans they love him, crowd favorite. They love their team, Sultana Bay. And the support has just been incredible. As we enjoy a little more on the final day as well, Paul Stubbs. Sit, hold. Use it now. Solid Boys looking out. stuff from Helderberg. They get it clear before the penalty advantage can accrue from the team in black. Look to enter enemy territory still in their own half as it stands, but here comes the captain running like a man. Lamprecht downfield, just outside the 22. He puts it down, gets back up and goes again. The offload is a brilliant one as well. In fact, I think it was Conway Pretorius with the barnstorming run, and here is Lamprecht. Cleared by Doman. The ball over the top, well dragged in and fired inside by Bowman. And on the outside now it's Engelbrecht. Hugh and Engelbrecht on the wing. Doman clears it. Handling error. And Helderberg cannot convert that positive play. 
the loose trio of this Elderberg side. In fact, the, the tight five and the way the loose trio play has been so impressive from day one. And those are the players that are dangerous. You see Conway Pretorius linking up with J.D. Labaskakni. Look out for Erki Lambrecht as well, the number eight. Connect so nicely, especially on when on the front foot. Sit! Hold! Bring it down. Down, go up. Got it, yeah, just on you. Got to keep it up. Away. Immediate. And then a critical full arm penalty awarded by referee JB and Jephthah. Andre Jacobs looks for touch. It comes woefully short of that. Marshall Dome able to initiate the counter attack for Helderberg. Oh, that tackle absolutely crucial as the line was almost broken open by Kurt Titus. They call him Cannibal. And here come Helderberg onto the front foot. Cleared by Doman again. Not many numbers to work with on the blind, but can they beat the tackle through Stuart Jacobs? Drag down. Doman clears. Rapid recycling of ball for Helderberg early away. on as Leon Compion oh, carries not. them forward. Doman under pressure. Gets it free no. to Nevoat. Gets man and ball. Still Stop. places it clean. Doman sets it free. The inside step from Hendricks, the vice captain of the team. Hunting it, it on the ground was Ngele Tuyose unsuccessfully. Oh. Helderberg applying pressure here in spades early on and that pressure pays over the line goes Erki Lamprecht they've been doing that since day one the youngster 20 year old from Oakdale linking up nicely with JD Labaskakni again both of them playing provincially at the no. junior levels no. this is excellent work from Jane Labaskakni, Lapis Labaskakni as he's known. Nice little offload into the pocket and through yeah. the hole goes Erki Lambrecht. Another very impressive try from the youngster. A town named after a mountain in the wine producing region of the Cape takes a five-point lead and to make it seven Stuart Jacobs easy as you like Helderberg lead against the hosts it's his positional play that's what's impressive he knows how to run off of a shoulder connects so nicely they've got incredible intuition this loose trio and it's Jay Labaskachny and Lambrecht again The third, fourth playoff has its first points. Seven points to nil, Helderberg lead. Monre Jacobs, he can do it all. He gets us back underway with the kickoff. Well taken in there by Helderberg. Good, strong tackle fight as well. Hold, stop, lost it! Look! That from the Hold. man who provided the try assist to JD Labuskachny. He attempted off. Stop! Though. Not pulled off, but a barnstorming run all the same, and Helderberg really making hay in each and every interaction away, with Saldana away. so far. Saldana will want to knock them back with a couple of big tackles and start to impose themselves on this match. They have a chance now on the counter attack, and they've got it with their big number eight, Gerza. High tackle. Possible high tackle, in fact, indeed a high tackle is the Samoan, Mikhail Hansa takes it into contact Jakobs gets it free Saldana with their first no, opportunity to put together a couple of phases huh? Jakobs punish for the high tackle away to Gustav Marman and Helderberg applying pressure in defense and attack here is Monre Jakobs good pressure there on Seister who gets it away but Helderberg are hunting the behind the gain line this time it's Kurt Titus oh, oh. the cannibal making a hit eating men alive Away. and Helderberg continue to catch Saldana Bay behind the gain line they've just got to get it a bit wider perhaps Saldana and catch that rush line of Helderberg in over the ball Liam Compion no advantage high tackle We're going all the way back for that high tackle tackle Saldana gonna have to find a way to be profitable with ball in hand Jakobs for touch this time he finds it safely Yeah, flat-footed and a little bit lateral, perhaps, Saldana Bay, the home side. They're looking for those strong, big runners like the Samoan Mikhail Hansa. But 
no one running those short unders lines to try penetrate a very well Play organized on. defensive side like Helderberg. Play on is the call, and that's great play. The skip pass to the outside finds Maria. No. Helderberg not missing no, their no. targets today. <laughs> oh, great fight on the ground, and Kurt Titus is livid. Rock, but he didn't get the reward for that. Jakobs to clear. Really rushing up that defensive Lawrence. line. Our Helderberg and Ligan Jakobs doing well to avoid that initial tackle. Monre Jakobs gets it away. The skip ball over the top. The idea was right. The execution wrong. Helderberg are sharp to it today. That was Jody Cool. They call him Water. Water. Great read. Jody Cool has got a few tries out there as well. He's been impressive for Helderberg. There's the mark, Monroe. Very smart rugby player. Always aware, always paying attention to what's happening on his peripherals, like a good winger should. Good play from Saldana Bay. Building the phases nicely. Although it's not looking like they're getting the high tempo ball they need, or they're getting over the advantage line, they're working hard to recycle and just asks further questions of the defense who need to keep composed and that time Helderberg get it wrong first real opportunity for Saldana Bay to gain points Monray Tiki Jacobs puts it over with seven points to three Rafia's players making their way through the stands, getting applause not only from those supporting the team in red, but from the home fans as well. They love a good team, they love good rugby, and Khrut Brak Rafia have brought the entertainment yeah, today. It. They're playing in the final up next. Here comes Helderberg. Rue Nivot on the carry. Oh, wow. it slipped completely out of the hands of Marshall Doman. Saldana hold, desperately hold. trying to make the most of that situation. They cannot. Doman gets it right this time, and Helderberg continue their attack. Saldana will be hearing the alarm bells ringing. The inside ball doesn't hit the target. Knocked on from the pass from Kewen Bowman. Knock on. Great restart, though. Great restart from Helderberg. It's the man they call water, Jody Cool, with the fantastic restart receipt and then they started building the phases nicely but again going too wide looking for the penetration on the inside Kewen Buti Bao, Bauman maybe just rushing things a little bit but very good way to try strike back after bleeding some points held crouch boy set hold keep it up Jakob speeds a scrum, struggling to hold itself together, and Gertz's pick up from the base rescues no, the situation. No, no. Samuel Kreiling running it right at them. Monre Jakobs plays it to the left, not the quickest ball for Saldana Bay, and they'll need to find another way to break this defensive no. line open. That's not a no, bad effort. No. From Gustav Marman, desperate. No, no situation no from hands, Kyle no. Hunter to rescue there as he picked it up from the ruck that was being dominated by Helderberg and that domination at the breakdown is being led by Kurt Titus. Monre Jakobs gets it free to Marman and now oh, breaking it open in the middle is Jose, Jose dragged down oh, no. in from the side Jay Lavaskakni not getting it right that time clearly not coming through the gate so much more difficult to come through the gate when the attacking side is that far over the advantage line great carrying gele to your set starting to give that man tiki yakov some good options there's the carry from your say he's been so impressive for saldana bay and clearly labaskakni not getting through the gate nicely 
Vegan Jacobs in for the captain, Divan Joshua, who's on the bench in the 16. Finds the mark. Marman with the dummy and go. He chips it to the outside. It's ambitious. And it does not come off. Now Helderberg have the chance to run it right back at them. Cutting inside and looking for the inside ball. Goes backwards on blue. Was Lucas backwards is the call. And Jody Cool takes it into contact. No, tough pass from Doman for Helderberg to deal with. Tackle, the momentum no, of the move no, breaks no, down, no. but it's still there. Doman under pressure Please again. Up. This time from Gheer Gnada Hoi. Kompion gets it free to Cam Miller. And the interplay Hoi. finally stops for Helderberg. And so far as Soldana are concerned, they've no. been running wild trying no, to keep this team under control. Dancing on the offside line at all times. Helderberg snatched away, but the no, whistle no, blows. Stuart Jacobs must turn back. And it's going to be a scrum to Saldana, at which they've been struggling so far. And Twinsy Helderberg looking good in these early stages, but it's an 80 minute game. Yeah, Paul Stubbs, they, they are. Luke Hurts getting himself a, an intercept yes, there. Yes. Right winger Jody Cool, we've already seen him. With a good intercept and just running laterally. You never want to see the heavyweight running that arc line. Cam Miller there. Crush. Need to keep it direct. Bye. Get a nice run up and Set take the home. ball at pace. <laughs> More difficulties at scrum time, and this time it results in a knock on from Monre Jacobs. The captain will be disappointed with that. Handing the ball over to Marshall Doman. Helderberg have the put into the scrum in a very dangerous position. Centre field the essentially closer, the in between the 22 and the 10 meter line. Closer. Crouch. Bye. Cam Miller getting a really Set. good Set. engagement and he's getting a good left shoulder for Helderberg. No scrum penalty for Helderberg again as Doman gets it free and it's cool on the outside. Jody cool. Oh, what an offload, and it's going to be a try wrapping around the corner. It's Booty Bow, Kewen Bowman. Not happy with that one. It looked a little bit too easy for Jody Cool. The fans, Sultana Bay fans, and great support from Kewen, Booty Bow, Bowman. On the five. Just kept yeah. working around the corner, but. This is well worked. Taking it at pace, this is better. Bowman is the one with quick hands putting away cool. Yep. And he's cool, calm, and collected with that offload under pressure. Back to Putty Bowman. Put him away, finish what he started, Bowman. Steward Jacobs unsuccessful with the conversion attempt and it remains 12 points to three the lead for Helderberg not on now there is cool going to ground and that offload really perceptive to Q and Bowman Helderberg having all the running early on cool as a cucumber all the puns are there for you. <laughs> it's gonna be a long game and we just hope he gets some tries in. Of course, he is the VIP section. It's Up right. and away from Sol Bay. Touched and it's into touch. It's ten. going to yep. be Helderberg Social ball. Line. It's all going the way of the team in black so far. Numbers and we haven't Helderberg. heard much noise coming from our right in the commentary box from the supporters dressed in blue. Liam Compion feeds the line out, tapped back by Conway Pretorius, who could scarcely control, and Saldana Bay pounce nice. on the situation with their vice captain, Ronaldo Brown. Jacobs gets it free to Ligan Jacobs, the 19 year old hooker, replacing the 38 year old captain who sits on the bench. Marman moves it along inventively. High hanging Play cross on. kick that Helderberg deal with very well indeed. The try scorer Bowman able to clean things up, and Helderberg. Brings sense to the nice. situation via the bullocking figure of Cam Muller. 
Not much space or numbers to work with on this blind side, but Lucas believed in himself all the same, and he is elusive. Great pass as well to Conrad Victorious. Helderberg Hold. hitting their straps early on in this match. The ever impressive JD Labuskachny, just 22 Lance. years of age. Get out of the way! Marshall Doman clears. Always in motion are Helderberg and Stuart Jacobs turns to the toe. That's a great kick. Dancing towards the touchline. No options for Saldana Bay. Yeah, you know what? Four subs, I think you, you use the perfect words to describe that there. Always in motion, making it really easy for the playmakers. That time it was Stuart Jacobs, they make, the man they called Barnes from Strand High School. He's played provincially in the junior levels as well, but going forward, it always opens up out wide. You've got enough time to just put it to foot. That's very well played from Helderberg. Great work at the line out as well. They collect possession, powering into contact with Compion. On the ground, so unable to continue the fight for the ball. The Samoan Mikhail Hansen and Helderberg in good position on the field again. Center yeah. just outside the 22. Look at that clean out from the cannibal Kurt Titus. He is absolutely running the show. That might be deliberate. That might be a yellow card for Fahmi Petro. Not now. Yep. Fahmi Pedro, who has taken over that starting number 14 jersey from the youngster who was so good, JD. Yes, and of course, on the bench, what you, about to ask? you might see in the second half DJ Korizen, 19 year old, no, fullback for Saldana. No intentions to go for the rap. But he's in two minds here. It's Bowman, we know how good he is of a distributor, just can't catch the man ball and all there. Fahmi Pedro. Compion feeds the oh line boy. out. Saldana Bay's attempted contest. Ill advised, no lifters. Try coming for Compion. That's what Helderberg will do. Well drilled machine. Well organized side. Stockel Compion. 23 year old played western province under 19 finishes off some good work here great throw under pressure conway pretorius the money man sets up the mall that's fantastic work from the heavyweights as well and it's easy as you like for tokel compion once commentated a game when compion was playing at paul jim at chemis i said the favorite song of his family was stand up for the compions you can watch him on your channel of Compions. And that's how important this competition is. You've got players from all, all over the West Coast getting an opportunity to play with each other. And some of those players going to some of the best schools in the world in terms of rugby, like Paul Jim, Paul Boisai, Paul Ruas as well. Oakdale, another school that's feeding Helderberg quite nicely. That rolling mall, irresistible. That's really good work from Rooney Vote and Miller. And after he got down over the line, it was time to stand up for the Compions. Monre Jacobs gets us back underway. Compion looking to feel that one. It's bouncing awkwardly, but the big man is confident to carry it right back into the fray. Helderberg are looking like they've got the bit between their teeth right. today. Doman to clear, waiting in the pocket is his number 10, Jacobs, Stuart Jacobs. Waiting back there once more, it is Gerza, who's always clean. <laughs> he runs it right back at them, but he's taken down clean. Monre Jacobs with the tempting ball to the outside for Brody Goddard to run onto the 20-year-old, no, no. powering forward. Hold, hold, Sultana hold, hold, building hold, for the hold, future yeah. with these youngsters they have in their team yeah. at this Easter festival. Half gap there no. for Sultana. A rarity so far in this first half, which is almost 25 minutes old now. And Marman keeps it moving along, but they just keep getting blasted in the hits. Devet van Royen traveling backwards this time. Jakobs seeing one option, dodging the second, sniping himself. The offload was an ambitious one, but it's picked up. <laughs> Boy, that's a big hit. Helderberg leaving no stone unturned. 
Gerto gets it free from the base of the rack, and that Helderberg defensive line continues Fast to rush in. up with a fire in their bellies, and this time they Gerto get the turn out of it, they get there. blasted back to Vet Van Royen and friends, making the impact. Megan Jakobs, the teenager at 19, takes it into contact, and Helderberg rushing up again, they beat the defensive line, finally, Saldana, and on the outside, there's some space for Seister, Seister, dragged into touch. Game's opened up a little bit now. Starting to see the big hit, cold shoulder there, Buti Pao. Finding a little bit of space as well, but the hits remain vicious. That time it's Stuart Jacobs. And it's got the fans getting up on their feet and starting to sing. Great to see. Fantastic atmosphere as well, and that's what you want when you're Saldana Bay, the home side. Put a little bit of pressure on the opposition. Yes, the haven't been able to score any tries yet, Saldana Bay, so applying pressure to Helderberg really important. There we see Virgil Stoffberg getting his first start of the Easter tournament getting up. Although the lift isn't there, does make it a little bit awkward, whether it's for the opposition lifters or jumper or hooker. And they've got the rewards here, under 22, good attacking position. They'll be hoping to get some points. Big opportunity for Saldana. It all starts at the scrum. And the scrum descends Relax. into madness this time. But Helderberg have been applying the pressure, and Saldana will look to get a steady base just for Monroe Jacobs to clear from the way things have been going thus far. It's only a question of control. Yes, I need you to keep your angle. Further by. Well, dude, mate. Get closer. You too. Yeah. Crouch! Sit! Keep it up! <laughs> Ali, leave him, leave him! Free kick to Saldana Bay, not a bad result. Manra Jakobs with the tap and go, he gets it Take to Goddard, he takes it hard into the head. No! Great ball placement from Goddard, Jakobs is there to clear, here comes Ligan Jakobs. Release! Short of the line, he gets it back for Manra Jakobs, who fires it to his back line, Marman wants to Release. unleash them. Helderberg back in position now, making That's the tackles. No tackle let it go, release. Six, let it go. The cannibal doesn't want to give it back. Let's go, let's go. Monre Jacobs with the tap and go. Feeds it off to Ligan Jacobs. So keen for the contact today, the young number two. Now spreading it away advantage. to Hwailing. Another advantage. The offload to Seister. Now you can hear the Saldana Bay crowd. They're celebrating that one from Seister, the winger, 19 years old, from a school right across the road, Veska School. Great link up here between Gian Ganada, Greiling, and Jordan Maria, the centers, drawing and passing, drawing in defenders, and a fantastic support line off the shoulder from Seister. They have a knack of keeping themselves in rugby matches to the Saldana side in spite of looking overpowered as they did against Seth Cole. And now Manra Jacobs has another chance to drag them closer, make it an eight-point game, nine-point game. Clean strike from Jacobs. And we get to see the hands raised skywards by those in blue jerseys. Yeah, remember the downer man, Fahmi Petro, one of the wingers is down. Great draw and pass from Gian Ganada Hreiling. Jordan Marais does beautifully to put away Seister in the end. Those are the sweet sounds of rugby in Saldana Bay. Long restart from Helderberg, Monre Jacobs wastes no time in response. There's a light breeze blowing downfield, not like day one and not like the windiest days down here in Saldana Bay, but it is having an impact and Monre Jacobs kicks showing that Saldana playing into the wind. Yeah, day one, the wind was incredible. Right through, deep into the night. Sense. 
Open. And then we had an incredible day on Down day two. Open. Beautiful weather on Saturday and today not the too game, bad nine. either. A little bit of a breeze like you mentioned, paused up, but so now far more. good conditions for Please. some running ruggers. Shane no, Kennedy, the teacher rising in the number four jersey. And once Go again, the way. rolling mall irresistible from Helderberg. Compion dropping and looking to drop the defender, but great response from the wee winger, Mikhail Hansen. And that's a Samoan style tackle. Varnish Offload over. off the ground from Devet Van Royen on the turnover ball, and Saldana looked to strike back. Nine points separate the sides after that try and now successful conversion. Lazy Go runner, but no way. effect had. And Devet Van Royen who's been showing up more and more as this half is worn on, shows up again. He offload! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. He was looking to get a dream ball out the back of the hand. He's a big boy, Samuel Hreiling. Loves contact, but we haven't seen much of that from him. Chicken wings, some offloads. Great Focus to see on the final up. day, really expressing himself and almost coming off that time. Needed to open up your Archer's shoulder. Mare would have taken it if it wasn't disrupted by a Helderberg arm in that tackle. Get closer in line with this mark. Centers combining really nicely for Saldana Bay. A couple of youngsters up front for Saldana. Sit, steady. Tuinga Magus on the number one jersey, just 21 years Hold. of age. Deegan Jakobs, Hold. the hooker, 19. Pulls out. Helderberg putting the pressure on those young guys. Breaking from the back. No hands. Erat Lamprecht. Cleared by Marshall Doman and leaning into that kick was Lin J. Hendricks. The Rock, they call him. Takes them upfield. Line out to Saldana Bay. Helderberg making all the play so far. Yeah, they are. Number Saldana. And I quite like that from The Rock Hendricks. Nice multi-dimensional approach, keeping the defense guessing. No, needs to open at the back. And making That's them turn enough. and face their try line. Pressure line out for the 19-year-old Ligan Jacobs. Really hit the targets and Saldana Bay do come away with the ball, although it had to be via a tap. Great pressure on Ger Gareth Gerta to get that away. And Canel Seister, another teenager, 19 years of age, taking it into contact. An advantage being played to Saldana Bay. It is intensely physical in there. And Saldana oh, Bay Salva. come away with the ball, trying to spread it wide, being hunted again by Jody Kuhl. Yes, that. that rush defense of Helderberg, not just restricted to the first channels, but they have numbers out wide that continue to rush up. Oh, no, and Saldana not. Bay struggling to make that impact in the defensive line to cut them down the center and attract those players. That's the kind of play that Samuel Schweiling has been looking to get involved in. Geer Genada, no, as we no, call no, it. But Saldana Bay, as you might see, are sinking further into their own 22. <laughs> not movement not. by movement. That's the cannibal right there. He was looking to eat, eat, eat. <laughs> Not oh, Tiki Jacobs, like Houdini, so evasive. But you're right, Kurt Titus, the cannibal, always lurking around. There he comes. A look, a look at that. I mean, that is some matrix stuff from Tiki Jacobs. Had to be. What a stiff arm that was. A flying clothesline from the cannibal players really keen to express themselves see both of them putting their bodies on the line not bad the percentage is there with the tackles made versus tackles missed and surprised them Saldana Bay enjoying quite a bit of possession now in the past 10 minutes but it's been Helderberg who've been playing a very good territory game especially in the past five minutes now getting closer to that halftime buzzer there he is Monre Tiki Jacobs, the captain today in the absence of Ivan Joshua, and he oh, saw it oh, at the corner oh, of his eye. Oh. That's one for the highlights reels for Tiki Jacobs. Oh man, Titus, the cannibal. I have about six. It's been that sort of a weekend, hasn't it, Paul Stubbs? It's been so entertaining. The players really. Let's go one. It's almost like they saved themselves for this Sultana Super 8 Easter Festival tournament. <laughs> And we've seen some really tight fixtures as well as the tournament has gone from day one to day two and now on the final day. 
Crap. What a game it was between Raiders and Gardens just before this one. Set, hold. Big scrum from Helderberg. They'll be looking for a penalty on the back of this. In fact, they clear from Lamprecht and it turns into a scrum to Saldana. As Doman can't hold on, but I'm twinsy surely Helderberg can get some penalties out of that scrum if they keep it in the back just a second longer. I think here, in fact, it doesn't look like Erki Lamprecht is, is comfortable there. It's a very good secondary shove coming from Saldana Bay. David van Royen, Geletu Yose applying pressure before and throughout contact so process working nicely for Saldana Crouch. Point. Set. Hold. Jakobs to feed less than five minutes to play in the first half and Helderberg putting that pressure on at scrum time good thinking from Gerza and Jakobs to get that touch of space and the pass to the outside finds the Samoan looking to use the power of Mikhail Hansa Dragged down eventually by Bowman. Jakobs, long pass to get this movement started. They want to spread it end to end, and Helderberg are spread across the field. Jakobs, that ball slower than they would like. Jakobs gets it away to the left now. Good inside ball. They've got to beat a defender or two, but these tackles are just continue to be made by Helderberg from number one to number 15. First tackle by Lamprecht, followed up by one from Jody Kuhl. The offload coming from Ligan Jakobs to the hard running Ngele to Jose. And here comes Gian Gennady, passes one around the corner, but he's been hunted behind the game line by Stuart Jakobs, who is in it to win it today. He hits at the breakdown as well. He's left his man floored. An attempted interception knocked down to the ground by jean Lucas, and a penalty advantage, assumably, presumably, Awaiting the Saldana Bay side, we shall wait and see. Carried into contact. And now trying to wrap it around the corner was Jose. Big pressure. <laughs> 13. Yeah, wow. It's It's ferocious. Well, we may be looking at a yellow card indeed. And it's a deliberate knock on. Looked like it from Jean Dre Lucas. He's been desperate to set himself free. Such a prolific athlete, clearly, but there's been no space for him so far. He tried the interception. He knocked it down, deemed deliberate. He's off to the Simbin. Consistency from referee Jafta. He's been so good, Jean Dre Lucas. Always looking for work. A great competitor. You want that sort of a character as a fullback and got a little bit of a rip tickler in the chaos Gustav Marman took a cold shoulder from his opposite number Stuart Jacobs and that there it is there deliberate knockdown it does look like it might have been backwards but the call made by the referee Marman up from getting that treatment gets it away to Gian Gnada. Great offload in the midst of contact. He finds the free running Hansa, but he's been dragged in. And now Saldana just have a slight overlap to the left. But the Back defense up. of Helderberg makes it seem no. absolutely Need impossible to, to get around to there. Him. Tackle called. No release. Another penalty to Saldana. Continue to apply pressure with two minutes to go. Kicking into the wind, Monroe Jacobs does well, finds such, and remember, Sultana will have this wind at their back in the second half. Big line out this for Ligan Jacobs, slapped back onto Saldana's side of life by Devet van Rooyen and away to Gustav Marman. Gien Genada feeds it inside to Gerte. Jacobs, Marman. Oh, the short ball just didn't work out for them. It was looking good. Here's Canel Seister. Seister corkscrewing out of two tackles. Offloads to Devet van Rooyen, who continues to do hard work here today. Ronaldo no! Brown with no! the next offload and in over the ball was Lamprecht called away from it 
Goddard cutting back Go in on the off. angle, hunting it on the ground for Helderberg as Shane Kennedy. He can't get hands on it. And Saldana Bay continue to string together the phases and dominate possession. No, no. 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 The counter act strong but unsuccessful from Conway Pretorius. Away by Marman. Here's Jose. Big tackle from Erat Lamprecht. Jakobs digging in there, trying to get it free for Marman. Marman wants to send it wide. Helderberger hunting in the back line, and they're continuing to make their hits. This time it's Butibal Bowman. The counter ruck is strong from the team in black, and they win the penalty. The counter ruck is good. Have to let it go. Tried as hard as he could, Brody Goddard for Saldana Bay at that ruck, but. Support was good from Helderberg. It's given away six penalties, about three of those in the past five minutes or so. Saldana Bay desperate to score points as the buzzer goes. Maybe we'll have one last stanza of play now before half time, but great commitment on defense from Helderberg. Remember, down a man as well with Jandre Lucas off the pitch. One of those players who's been very aggressive for it's a good, flyoff, good. Stuart Jacobs. Tiki, if you're in the hooker position, I need it to be two by two. Thanks. 14 men of Helderberg <laughs> looking for points before the half time break. Compion feeds it in, drifting away. They've just about kept that on their side of life with Kurt Titus. And here comes Lamprecht. Lamprecht is hard to handle. The strong running former Oakdale player, just 20 years of age. The exuberance of youth takes them beyond the 22. Fired wide by Jakobs. They've got numbers on the outside looking for water. The dummy, in fact, and ducking into the tackle was Engelbrecht. No! Tremendous scramble defense from Saldana, which has been in evidence all tournament long. A penalty advantage to Helderberg as the desperation strikes. Doman's trying to get it free. Doman does get it free now. And Helderberg have a chance to go again. It's Hendricks. Hendricks asking the questions of the defensive line. Your says cancelled at that breakdown. Here comes Bowman. Kennedy can't hold on. We're going back for the infringement. And Saldana will have to settle into defense once more. If Helderberg want to have another crack at the line, Roding Mall might not be a bad call, Mtunzi. Yeah, I think perhaps not yeah, as clinical not. as they would like with their line out. So it's putting their captain, Stand. Conway Stand. Pretorius, who will know better than anyone on the pitch. Yeah, let's go. Being the caller and controller of those line outs, captain as well. So now the first five, because it's windy, so the first five determine whether it's straight or skew. That's Big his model. Moment, yeah, an interesting call by the oh, referee. Oh, so and because it's windy, the first five model. minute meters is what the referee looks at for the hooker's throw to call it skew. Quite interesting that, great to hear. Compion feeds, this time it's no. right on the money for Shane Kennedy. Kennedy takes it in and this rolling wall, corkscrewing too early perhaps. Compion, does he have a shaft of light to go for the line? He does not. Place back, big power. Helderberg nice score goal. again. It's a big lock from Northwood. Yeah. High school is 27 years old now. Big Shane Kennedy. What a tournament he's had. All smiles, but doesn't shy away from the hard work. Good pick and go. Still had a lot of work to do, but yep, he was able to stretch that long body over the try line. Doesn't shy away. It's never in two minds. Shane Kennedy scored a few tries as well. For Helderberg. One of the standout locks uh, for me, Jose, one of them as well. His locking partner and captain, Conway Pretorius, has been brilliant. Makes life quite a bit easier when you've got a classic number four lock like Shane Kennedy. To be the, the imposter. Stuart Jacobs puts that one between the sticks and adds another two points to the tally for Helderberg, who so narrowly missed out on being involved in the final today, the match which is coming up after this, the third and fourth playoff.
the team in black and red have dominated proceedings early on in the first half and then they came back again and scored the final points of the first which means they go into the halftime break with a significant lead it's all for Saldana to do in front of their home fans Here's how it all came to be. Helderberg on the front foot early on. That offload in the contact from JB Lo JD Lovenskatny to find Elki Lamprecht. What a way to start for Helderberg and Saldana were on the back foot from there forward in spite of their fight. Yeah, and you know what, Paul Stubbs, it's the usual suspects there. Elki Lamprecht and JD Lovenskatny connecting beautifully, but it's the backline players as well who can connect really wonderfully. Bowman with the distribution, cool as a cucumber. Jody Cool in those wide channels to get that offload for Bowman to finish what he started. And, well, the home side, the supporters had a thing or two to think about. Feldruff weren't Hold done on. yet. They're more very well organized. Conway Pretorius, the captain, sets it up very nicely. And the youngster, Tokel Kompion, does well to finish. well organized especially in the technical parts of the game the set piece we see them all here very well worked nice and tight in a low body position but Saldana Bay we know they'll keep fighting Ian Granada Freyland's distribution has been top-notch linking up beautifully with his outside center Mare and the support line off the shoulder top-notch from Seister they got close to scoring their own try Saldana Bay on the opposite side of the pitch but ill-discipline cost them Helderberg too good and they were able to set up another try after a mall it was Shane Kennedy with So thank you guys. I'm standing with uh, Mr. Toby Titus, or Mr. T, as we got to know him. Ex-Western Province Rugby President, ex-Saru Executive, one of the longest serving 
administrators, I think six decades in the in the business of administrating. You did a great job, uh, Mr. T. Thank you. It took a lot of effort, and I'm so glad. We were always looking forward for the day when we have one rugby body, and the testimony is here today. In terms of the attendance of the people, the spirit amongst the crowd, and the enthusiasm. And I must thank Saldana, the mayor of Saldana municipality, and all the people involved in sport that they've done every year, they're doing it better. Yeah. And it's good for the community of Saldana. But the other thing that's important to me, seeing that I'm from the Plazaland, is it, they say a child on court is a child out of court. Yeah. And that is the spin-off of this tournament. More and more people get in, is starting to get more interested in sport. I just think it's fantastic. I mean, it's, it's a window into the club scene in the world and the atmosphere in the stadium from the supporters, the players, the commitment, it's been sensational. It's wonderful. I must tell you that in the Plattland, obvious, the people are the working class. It's a handful of professionals here. But the people is, they are people that live for the community. And everything that happens in the community, they support it. But I think the biggest love, besides their love of our creator, is the love for sport. So and this, this, sorry. Okay. Sorry, so this tournament's been a great success, Toby. I mean, what are you doing? You've retired after six years, I mean, six decades involved in Australia. What are you doing with yourself today? Well, you see, I'm blessed with four grandchildren. And I'm admitting you've got to sacrifice, and you know that you were a good player also, that you've got to sacrifice something. And I just thank my family, first of all, my wife, and I've got four grandchildren, and they my love. And I'm still not active, but I keep a keen interest in sport. And I want to thank Western Province, especially. They never forget about me. They always invite me to their functions and to their games. And that's why I want to say thanks. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Toby Tart. It's great to chat. Thanks. And may you have a wonderful rest of the afternoon here. Thank you. That's Mr. Mr. Toby Titus, ex-president of Western Province Rugby, uh, ex-Saru Rugby executive, and what a game we've got on our hands at the moment. Playoff between for third and fourth position. We just had that try from Shane Kennedy, the Strandhonda or Helderberg as they are known, lead 26-10 against Saldana, the home team, the team, the bye boys. Who's going to win it? 26-10 it is right now.
1904, Helderberg Rugby Club lead at halftime over Dubai Boys, Saldana. It's 26 points to 10, four tries to one. It's all for Saldana to do. Here at their home tournament, they'll be looking for glory. Saldana in their final match of the weekend. The third, fourth playoff after narrowly missing out to Seth Cole, who will be playing in the final against Grotbrak Rafir. Jakobs gets us back underway and the ever impressive loose trio of Helderberg continues to shine brightly but 20 year old Erki Lamprecht taking that one in fired back beautifully by Marshall Doman and the clearing kick not as easy into the breeze for Helderberg as it was in the first half waiting back there Gerrit Gerza who has been marshalling the clearance kicks from Helderberg all match long Ngele to Jose plays it to Mikhail Hansa. Hansa has been trying his hand as often as possible. Very seldom has any space to move in due to the defensive style of Helderberg. If you look on your screen there, they're still spread all across the field. They don't really commit a great deal of numbers to the breakdown as well, but all the same, they are effective in their aggression there. And it allows them to have defenders waiting for Saldana, who are struggling to pierce holes down the center of that defense. And they need the likes of Gien Ghanada, Gerza, of them or Freiling, them. rather, in the number 12 to make their impact. That no, ball no, traveling no. many no, meters no, backwards yes. and Saldana starting from the halfway line again. Gustav Marman turns to the boot to get his team back onto the front foot, but the angle not great, the chase non-existent. Easy meet for Stuart Jacobs. Got a lot of attitude, the kid. <laughs> I tackle him anyway. For stuff, I tackle him anyway. <laughs> if I am Brody Goddard. <laughs> yep. Saldana Bay just standing a little bit too deep, not taking advantage of that one man overlap. Remember, fullback Jandre Lucas is still off the pitch for Helderberg. They need to take it flat so that they don't allow the defensive systems to adjust. Monre Jacobs collecting that dropout and Waiting for it there is Samuel Hrailing, the inside center. Jose with the offload to the new man, Rivaldo Barnes, and now Saldana on the front foot with Hansa Mikhail Hansa through a speculator. It's up to touch. Yeah, Mikhail Hansa, he's had a few of those offloads come off nicely, but this time space before we get to just not close enough to him man i think he's chosen the wrong direction as well looked like Herzo was maybe looking to go on the inside but much better that from saldana bay taking it nice and flat good little burst through there from rivaldo baron and not a bad game for goddard who's come off the pitch for him Line out. Great line out from Helderberg in a pressurized situation. Conway Pretorius, the captain, takes it in. And once again, Erat Lamprecht involved on the carry. And here's his loose forward partner, no, J.D. No. Lovuskachny. Lappies, the 20 year old, taking it in. Great play there from Jakob. Soft hands from the number 10. <laughs> Saldana Bay ready for that play. And they oh, win the turnover. Been so impressed, especially in this fixture. Gien Ghanada Greiling. Just make sure your ten, ten. Defense has been excellent. Sure it's decision making. It's him who makes a nice low tackle around the knees. And it just allows the Sultana support defensive players to get in and perform that tackle. There's the tackle for me. Yeah, nice and low. He keeps keep working, keep working keep after the initial onside. tackle. That's the second contact he's made in that play. It's against the prop. All. Looking fantastic at inside center, Hraylen. The youngster, Ligan Jakobs to the front of, of the line out. Great contest, but Barnes's effort is enough to get it back on the Saldana side. Yeah. Strong run from Samuel Hreling. And now it is Stoffberg in the number 20. Saldana out of numbers out wide. They're going to have to run straight. Now it is Jakobs breaking from the base. Seister trying to get it away, but there's Cool Water, Jody Cool getting it back for Helderberg. Back to their full 15 with Canel Seister with rather Jandre Lucas back onto the field. Doman has been doing yeoman work in the number nine and breaking away now. Lamprecht, Erki Lamprecht looked up, saw some green grass in front of him, but got his ankle snatched from underneath him. Helderberg crossed the halfway line all the same. And the efforts of Saldana. Now, 
put to waste for the time Beck being. Beckwards is the call from Dome and it's play no. on, but nobody's aware Thanks of it. Thanks for the call, Avery. He knocked it. In fact, we're coming back for a scrum. Thanks for the call. More breathless rugby from both of these yeah. sides, and the Saldana Bay fans waiting to be entertained again. Get going. Point. Sit. Hold. 16 points separate the sides, and a penalty comes the way of Saldana Bay, who have been struggling up front today. Strong work here, Lee Wayne and Jack. It's just well timed from them. They've caught Halderberg before they can adjust. They don't get the spacing right with that scrum. Seeing Amavusa getting some treatment to the shoulder. There's the, the mayor of Saldana Bay watching over proceedings here. Sunglasses required on a day so sunny and bright. Is it good, Doc? So Monroe Jacobs standing back just waiting to make his clearance. There were two men down getting treatment simultaneously from Helderberg. Guru Nevoet. The player down on bended knee. Is this kick going to make touch? Not by a long shot. Jody Cool takes it in. Doman moves it on. And here is Lucas, ever dangerous, with his side stepping and his pace. Lucas dragged down by the ankles. And a tackle from Rivaldo Barnes. Some players out wide for Helderberg, but the defensive cover gets there quickly. Trying to hunt it on the ground was Mikhail Hanser, the ever hard working winger, and Compion wrapped up in the tackle. Helderberg so confident in possession. And now the pass wide may find Saldana Bay short on numbers. It was slightly loopy, giving the chance for the defensive recovery. And what a recovery it was Knock from Fahmi Petro. Skalki Berger in those wide channels had the option on the inside. I think he needed to give it a bit earlier to Stuart Jacobs there. No, it's a scam. Oh, you were angling. Always in two minds. Let's go, Berger. It's a new scam. Let's go. Get closer. Open up your shoulder. Open up. Crouch. Boy, set. Let's go. Ian, Ian, you. Watch it. Crouch. Boy, set. Hold. Some of the fans of Saldana Bay hurling Keep friendly up, abuse from the opposite touchline. Fans all around the field here at this tremendous Transnet Saldana Stadium. Tough pass to deal with for the number oh, 10 for Saldana. They find themselves well behind the gain line and the wind won't help that kick travel downfield. What kind of a pass is that? And Saldana back on the ball with Gien Genada Hreling get it away to Seister. Seister dragged in by Jody Kuhl. Great running onto the ball from Marman and the pass over the top keeps the movement alive. Cutting back onto the inside was Mikhail Hansen. Well, it's all falling apart for Saldana. They need a straight line applied, and there's Yorse to do just that. Gile to Yorse, uncompromising on the run. Now they have a slight overlap out wide, Saldana, but it's been shut down quickly. The grabber. Gives possession back to Helderberg and Doman's going to try it here. He's going to try it against Gian Genada and there's no mercy given. Big hit from the big number 12. Saldana Bay on the attack through Tyrese Peters. They're keeping it alive. Jakob sends it on. Big tackle on Stockberg. Oh, oh boy. Jakobs is getting hunted out there. This time the tackle hits. Saldana still on the brink. They've got to consolidate here. Mavusa 
puts his head down, carries it forward. Legan Jakobs with the quick hands. The number two has been impressive today. Just 19 years of age. Jakobs gets it away to Marman. Marman to Marais. Big hits out wide. Oh, Jody Cool. Just like the water. Okay, but it's the second time in the game with a bad disturb. So I need you to go in a safe tackle position. This is your warning to you. Next time you might not be lucky, okay? Thank you. Triple! Triple! It's a bit like Tano Umaga. <laughs> Jody Cool. I mean, the hits are coming in all over the pitch and ferociously so as well. This Sultana Bay side, my goodness, they play with courage. Very good read this from Jody Cool. Never in a good body position. Has to go lower now. He's on his last warning. Huge line out for Legan Yacht. Well, that's not going to sit well with the committee. Yeah, there we go. Straight to the sock. That's where he fetches no, no. his cards from. He's missing a play without the ball. No, there's a going. No questions. No questions. That's the captain, 31 years of age. The oldest player in the squad today, Conway Pretorius. Yeah, and that's a big one as well. He is the controller. Controls the way they play. He's the decision maker as well. Applies great pressure with their lineouts. But Tiki Jacobs, everyone is against him. He doesn't care. Keeps doing his job. Taking a few extremely cold shoulders as well out there, but playing on. Early left, Sultana miss out and the groans from the crowd. Unquestionable Stock Berger carrying it into contact. Doman gets it away and the kick over the top into the wind, held up slightly, but there's only two players back for Sultana. Lucky to get that fielding so clean was Seistov. They're going to have to counter attack from here, but it's going to require some confidence and pace. The offload to the captain, the back on the inside, but Helderberg are up and at it, and they've driven Sultana back to their own 10 meter line. Monre Jakobs reckoning there's some space in over the top, but Helderberg have covered the field extremely well indeed. And it's Stuart Jakobs, the number 10 back there, feeds Doman. Doman gets it away to Jandre Lucas. Lucas looking for gaps on the outside. Helderberg down to those 14 men, still finding a way to move forward with freedom. Away it goes to Lapis Labuskachny. In over the ball. Ngele to Jose. Tap and go from Virgil Stoffberg, looking to up the tempo here with the one man extra on the field. Now that contest is good. Compion gets it, but he pops it back to a Soldana player. And now Samuel Oh Hale man! Slides one through for Seister! Oh, trust us. What a touch that was from Gian Ganada Grelen. No grace, no mercy, call him what you want. He's usually a hard man, but the finesse with this grubber is insane. They've given him way too much time. It's perfectly weighted for Can Alcester, who just absolutely burns the Helderberg cross cover defense. So much pace off the mark, doesn't need any help from Mikhail Hansa. What a finish, Seister. bring that one around trying to use the breeze to his advantage you can see the flags flying in the background that breeze perhaps growing in strength through the day as it does tend to get stronger in the afternoon and evening but what about that Mtunzi? I mean he's a hard man that's why they call him Gernada, no mercy Kreling. but that touch incredible his distribution has also been really top shelf as well Samuel Kreling and Seister Another very good finish. Up and away.
from Jakobs. Big is onto the ball. How did that happen for Sultana? The inside ball, but the whistle is blown, and Kyle Bender dragged down in the tackle will head back for a handling error. He knocked it into a blue player. That's why he reflected back to you. <laughs> yeah. Adrian Grunewald, Bankis Grunewald comes on for Liam Compion. Such a good restart. Well taken. Mark to you. Almost well taken by Skalki Berger. Yeah, two marks, one closest to you. Just knocks it on. The offload's quite impressive as well there. From Engelbrecht to a very impressive Close Kyle Bender. Another one of those locks who stood up for Helderberg and impressed. Crouch! Bang! Sit! Hold! Go! 11 points between the teams. Saldana Bay continue to hold on by their teeth and their fingernails in these matches here at this their home tournament. But now finding a way through that Helderberg defense, or almost what a tackle that was. But they're still on the front foot. It's Scherzer with ball in hand. He moves it to Seister. Seister to Hansa. Chopped down by Jody Kuhl. In over the ball, Saldana wanted clean and quick. It's Monre Jacobs who gets it away, running from depth. Saldana, as they should be, as they've been running all the way downfield. De Vet van Rooyen gets the pass away. More aggressive defense this time from Skalk Berger. Gustav Marman trying to find a half gap for Ligan Jacobs. He's been hunted. Jacobs, Monre Jacobs, the captain, gets it away on the deck. And once more, it's Gien Genade Greiling who is able to roll the ball back and keep it alive. So much second, energy from no. this man today, Devet van Rooyen. In the first half and the second, another penalty. Jumping the gun there was Adrian Grunewald. Another 20-year-old, so many youngsters, especially considering it's club rugby on the field right now. Beskus is the Beskus, especially when it comes to club rugby. And it's just great to see as well, some of those, we spoke about a Paul Stubb, some of those schools that are famous, world famous, for the talent that they develop. Paul Jim, one of them, Paul Boys High, Paul Roos, and a couple of really impressive players coming through. Oakdale, another one of those schools. Erki Lambrecht has been so impressive. JD Labaskachny. And for them to mix and match and play against some talent from this area as well, like this player, Tiki Jacobs. Tiki tries to keep it low, but it's unsuccessful. Need to be behind the kicker. to make it an eight-point game with those three points. But instead it remains 11 points between the sides, the Saldana Bay fans still behind their team and there's still time to drag this one out of the fire. New look front row, there's Sam Juice, Klaassen. Samilio Klaassen, he is so dangerous and it's his kind of game this year. JJ Stoffer gets it downfield, taken in bravely by Darren Fisser, and the offload away to the impressive Gareth Gerte, no! who's been running back those kick receipts all day long. Cleared by Fisser. High in the midfield, who's going to lay claim to this great effort from Lin J. Hendricks, the vice captain for Helderberg, has been nuggety today. And here is the oh, shining the talent of the game so oh. far. Wailing. Oh, they just can't make it happen, and now Helderberg might have a chance to run it right back at them if this kick can stay in field. Has advantage been called? It has not. Foul play. Just move away, Diva. Having a flag, foul play. Just move away. Yeah. I'm not in serious. So we don't turn off the engine, but okay. It's just light after the kick. So it's gonna be penalty against you, okay? Yep. <laughs> Light tackle. There is the regular captain, Divan Joshua. Ah, oh, but he had to hold on to it. Sam Juice Klaassen had to hold on to that one. Gian Granada Greiling put it in the bread basket after an incredible break. Outside center class and just needed to hold on to it. As I think is what the foul play is called for. Seister tackling the man without the ball. 
approaching the final quarter of the match now Helderberg still leading by those 11 points with 14 players on the field they'll be desperately waiting for their full complement and finally Erki Lamprecht makes a mistake a handling error from no the call. big young number eight and Saldana will have a put into their scrum with their new front row experienced front row as well yep. DJ Corizon does well to keep holding on to the impressive Arad Lambrecht and guess who's been everywhere on the pitch in this game this afternoon Crouch. Freyland Boy. Sit. Hold. Clear. much more stability at scrum time for Saldana Bay and Gerta gets it away to Darren Fisser who grabs downfield one to deal with for Jean-Dre Lucas, happy to run backwards to go forwards. He finds his number nine, Marshall Doman. Doman gets it away to Jody Cool. Jody Cool wrapped up by the Samoan, but he does well Take to him. fight through the tackle. And Helderberg Hold. retained possession just outside their 22-meter line. Feeling the Saldana Bay pressure in the second half. There's no question there Stop. has been a change in paradigm in this rugby match. Doman moves it along and finds Stoffer. Now a half gap for Oven Engelbrecht. No, no! Oh, why are you too easy? Desperate for the Have turnover. They want angry. all the possession and all the territory. They want all the play in the second half. Back the up. same way that Helderberg came at them in the first. But Saldana Bay just cannot get their hands on it for the time being. Hard angle from Grunewald. Penalty to the Bay boys. Tap and go from Virgil Stoffberg. The offload to his Back captain clutch. Joshua. Backwards Back is the call. Still trying to make it happen, Fahmi Petro. <laughs> oh man, gee, and it's all happening Seven. at the breakdown point. Striking back for their teammates with a tap and go. It's Sam Juice Klaassen. Here's Hreiling. Latching over the ball, but getting nothing of it. Grunewald Fisser tries the pass, but Lucas was there and waiting. A speculative one from the replacement oh. number nine. Unsuccessful. Doman. Unable to hold on to the ball was Bowman. And Saldana come oh. flooding through. They are really turning the screws on Helderberg in the second half. And here's Lamprecht again. Always moving forward. Doman held up by the lazy runner there. It was Lee Wayne Jack. Dummy and go. The offload unsuccessful from Lucas. Going back for a penalty to Helderberg, who are allowing this game to get scrappy. Yeah, look, I think the defensive effort is really good from Saldana Bay, but at times that effort, when they need composure, turns into a panic. Fissi Fisser needed to hold on to the ball there. He's made a fantastic little half break, go down. They've got numbers on both sides of the pitch. Helderberg still down a player, unable to capitalize on that. Seisto, who has been scintillating today. Teha! How are you doing from around the blind side? He has been nailed. That's the rock. That's why they call him that. What a hit from inside center. Lin J. Hendricks. Boom, coming out of the blind side. He had no chance, Johan Lowe. Well, what a discrepancy in the tackles made there. Helderberg being made to do a ton of work, especially in the second half. Our yeah, defense has been really good, both sides. You can see how much it means to both of these teams here, putting everything out there. 90% is sitting with the tackle success rate and not much in this game between possession and territory. Saldana enjoying the momentum though. Cleared from the base by Quinn Fisser for Helderberg. If they could score again, they would take the heart and soul out of the Saldana no, side, no. you must believe. Hold. With 11 points between the sides, they could really stretch right away, up. but they have struggled to make Back hay up. as they did in the Step first half. The Trying now to Use cross it. the halfway line with that breeze blowing into their face. The kick not available to them. Quick hands no, no. from Bowman. And on the outside, fighting Back to keep up. it in field, Skulkberger. Fisser arrives, the ball is slow, the counter-attack is devastating from Gerza. No hands is the call from referee Jefter and Helderberg have done tremendously well, but that pass from Fisser is wild to say the least. Linje Hendricks. Fisser. 
looking for options left and right. He finds Engelbrecht. He is a one-man army, this man. Dragging defenders with him up to the 10-meter line of Sultana Bay. Bang! Cutting back inside, it's Adrian Grunewald. Drops his head and goes forward like a rhinoceros. Now Fisser at the 22-meter line, and Helderberg can't hold on. Oh, there's a big chance here for the counter-attack. Pinning his ears back is Seister, but Jean-Dre Lucas is on the case. Lucas is in position, but can he... Oh, yes, he can! He gets it. He deals with the defender. Seister left in his dust, and Lucas can counter-attack. Oh, man. Lucas is on the line, and he's been dragged down high, but not handsome. A yellow card is on the way and it might be for the birthday boy, yeah. DJ Horizon, playing his farewell song. My goodness, what With a dance. Four. Um, just a question, there weren't any change of direction, and was strictly stiff arm with force. Did you, so, you, did you see anything? Yes. Did you see anything? Yes. Okay, so we're going red cut on it. Yep. Okay. Well, no, no, he didn't. So it's a full swing. What force is going red cut? No. No. No, I did, huh? A full swing with no, force. No, like that, don't you? Not a yellow card, but a red. In fact, it was his closing number of the night, DJ Corizon. Yep, and that's what he gets for his birthday, a red card, DJ Corizon. The exuberance good? of youth. <laughs> Incredible, Sandre. Cool. Lucas, and yeah, for me, uh, I'm not sure there's so much force there. It looks more like a seatbelt. Unlucky there, DJ Corizon, the birthday boy. One to look out for in the future, no doubt. 19 Alpha years Vita, yeah. old. Went to Hopefield High School around here in the Vescus. No. No. The feed to the line out quality. Helderberg have leaned on their set piece today, especially this line out. Got a try from a rolling mall as well. And they had that dominance in the first half. Low getting dumped with in the middle of that as well. <laughs> oh, the offload from Kronewald. Inventive. Fisser on the front foot, as are Helderberg. Now they have the man advantage. Can they take this game out of the clutches of Saldana Bay, whose defense has been desperate all day? As the crowd rises to the sight of Sefgol going away to warm up. The final's up next, folks. No, no, Don't no, you no. go anywhere. Quinn Fisser sees a gap down the center. Draft he goes for it. Now the clearance coming from Kyle Bender, throwing a looping pass from the base of the ruck, showing the difference between a replacement Fast forward running. and a scrum off. Low gets it back, and Saldana clear desperately, using that breeze to their advantage. They need a chasing line. Right now, it's just Gale to your set. Whoa, tough one to deal with for Jean-Dre Lucas. He's happy to deal with it, though. He wants the chance to run. The chip over the top, speculative at best, covered by Got Saldana touched. Bay. Looks like Gian Genada Hleiling getting there. And now he Sam Juice taking it to ground. It's going to have to be a special effort from these players with 14 against 15 for the remainder of the match. And kicking it downfield. Sam Hleiling, Sam Hleiling. Oh, what a kick. Is it a 50 22? The referee's going to have a look at it, but if that's a 50 22, take your hats off. Stand up for Gian Genada Hleiling. What an absolute game he is having. No, it's not a 50 22. Yep, it is. That is a clear 50-22 from deep inside his own half. The technique, again, brilliant. We saw it putting through a grabber through, setting up Seister with the try. Now he might just have given his side an opportunity to score again. They must. 17 visits to the opponent's 22. 15 points, just not enough. Devon Joshua feeds the line-out. What a crucial line-out it is. The rolling mall still going for Saldana yeah, Bay, trying to keep more, it tight more. here. Do they have enough numbers no. to protect the ball now? Helderberg reload. There is some protection around there. Gale to Yorsa getting into position, but now Use they're traveling it. backwards, and the, <laughs> the replacement scrum off is looking to get involved. Darren Fisser, low goes no, to ground, is trouble. Grunewald couldn't hold on. 
Now Darren Fisser gets it free. The 20 year old, he finds Hreiling. Release now. Product of Paul Boy's high, Paul tough step. as nails, cutting back on the inside. Not many numbers out no. to the left. They are a no. man down. Bear that in mind, Saldana Bay. Fisser gets it free. Yorse on the run. Tackle. His engine clearly running dry. He's been hard at work. Fisser with a great offload. Fine angle that from Goddard. No, the no, clear out is good. It's Fisser yeah, against Fisser in the replacement Release. scrum off positions. And Quinn Fisser could not create the turnover there. Here's Low. One of the most experienced players in the side alongside his captain and number two, Devon Joshua, on in the 16 today. No! Devet van Rooyen, he's got no scrum cap on, but he's still making meters for Saldana Bay Rugby Football Club. Here's Yossi. They're going to need big hearts, big lungs, and some big runs here. Saldana Bay to get over the line. Sam Juice is the next to go. Helderberg spread across the field and making their first time hit. Time after time. Fisser gets it free, and he tries to get something expensive. It's Seister. Yep. You cannot take your eyes off of this game, Paul Stubbs. Can Alceste is keen to score. What a little dink through that was from Darren Fisser. He knows he was close, put his body on the line, just couldn't get the finish, couldn't put it down before he was out. But this is close, this is so close. Sam Drews class in the defensive effort from Helderberg has been incredible all weekend that is perfectly timed he is on side there can Alceste what a try saving tackle once again the Edward van Amerva school of finishing is needed all across the country great pick up there from Gerza with a scrum traveling backwards and the ball bobbling around here comes Sam Drews Sam Drews deals with two Sam Drews Oh, what a try for Samilio Klaassen. He is oozing class. Yep, Samilio Sam Juice Klaassen, high knees. If you want to know about a tackle fight, watch this guy's highlights reel. Brilliant pickup from Gerza. Fissi Fissi doesn't hold on to it. Great step, then the strength to keep the ball in the right hand. Keep pumping those legs. Sam Juice Klassen, a much needed try. The character of this Saldana Bay side, Mike, really up there. Over. You got about 50 seconds. With six points between the sides, a time to settle down and take a look. And who's lining up this Is that Geun Granada? Is that Geun Granada, Greilig? I mean, talk about putting the game on your shoulders and saying, I can do it, boys. Believe in me. We've been putting together a team of the tournaments, but some of the performances on this final day. 20 seconds. Those selections into question. 20 seconds left. The drama never ends. No mercy. Geun Granada, Greilig. I giggle. I giggle because he's, he is clearly playing the best rugby out of anyone so far in a single game Sam Juice Klaassen it's been a tough introduction coming off the bench he started most of the games but he's brought that juice at a much needed time Helderberg with their lead cut down to six points by the 14 men of Saldana get back on the ball right away and that is Scott Berger is it the real Scott Berger with them running like that <laughs> Quinn Fisser gets involved it's a penalty to Saldana a penalty to Saldana Bay unpredictable rugby this is club rugby at its finest in charge of all the kicking duties now Samuel Hreiling not finding touch that breeze blowing in slightly from that touch line as well affecting teams kicking either up or down the field a long way to run for Helderberg and the balls in the hands of Engelbrecht Engelbrecht gets taken down and now trying on the outside is another Engelbrecht Hewen Huey brought down flag raised Saldana's put, put into the line out in Tunzi and with 
just under six minutes to play. This game is on the line. I'm out of words, Paul Stubbs. I actually don't know what to say now. What a take off that kickoff, that restart of Ain Engelbrecht for Helderberg. And it's on. You just don't know Numbers. what's going to happen next. One too many. Numbers. The infringement leading to the free kick after Helderberg had snatched the ball away. They see Saldana Bay get it back again. And get it to Jose. No. Only runs in one direction. And that's straight downfield. The kick over the top once again from Darren Fisser. This time a player in position. A player who's come back onto the field after being substituted. The number 10, Stuart Jacobs. I think he might have taken it back into the 22. Maybe about just a Check step or so, Stuart Jacobs. Nothing much in it. Hoping for a lot more distance there. They trail by six points. Big, big line out. The captain of the club, the 38-year-old Devon Joshua feeds the line out and the pass out of the back of the hand by the entertainer, Darren Fussy Fusser, doesn't meet its target on that occasion. Now it's Bowman looking to break for Helderberg. They would really break hearts here in Saldana Bay if they went all the way downfield to score. You knocked it. The knock-on comes. Does a knock-on black? Advantage having been played. Tired legs, tired minds, creating opportunities in Tunzi. I mean, it's, it's edge of your seat, heart stopping stuff. Very entertaining for us, for the guys in the stands and, and for us. But my goodness, for Randall Truly, Saldana Bay's head coach, he must be pulling out his hair there. Fisty Fisser with the no look pass gets an unlucky bounce, but it's club rugby at its best. Still a youngster, Fisty Fisser, 20 years old. Yeah. One of the no, many I'm players stopped. who've come through the IRI Saldana development. Let's go James, the backline player anyway. It's been great to see the players coming Thank through you. there and really showing their talent here at what has been an extraordinary Saldana Super 8 Easter tournament. Let's go. And there he is. Crouch. Bye. Set, hold. Big scrum here for Helderberg. They cannot make an imprint on that Saldana scrum, which has grown in strength. And here is the ever impressive Hraling carrying it into contact. Seemingly playing at first receiver now. So much responsibility on him all game long, even more now than there was before. Yes, Brown taking it into contact for oh, Saldana Bay. That's one that'll make you grit your teeth. Sam Juice after celebrating so vociferously earlier on. It's a big mistake. It gives Helderberg a chance to shut this one out. Mm. It's a Yorker. And it's a spinner as well as it's uh, number eight Gertzer passing it to him. Really tough one to take. It was actually Danny De Villiers, the Boy. man on the screen we just saw now. He's Set. in charge Hold. of that IRI development, doing some great work. The pickup from the base is from Erki Lamprecht. Lamprecht on the charge. He has no, been no. devastating today. Look at the counter from Saldana. So brilliantly marshaled by Quinn Fisser, the replacement nice scrum off. And Helderberg holding it down now with two minutes to play in the game. They know they've got to keep it in this area. If they could score, they would shut this one off. Stuart Jacobs gets it to the outside. Saldana running out of numbers. It's 15 against 14, remember. Did he get that down? Skulkberg is asking the question. He's asking the question. He wishes there was a TMO today. No such luck, young boot. Is he to? Is he to? Tense, tense. 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 Oh, this is really close Tense. again. Fantastic the skill on the offloads, one-handed offloads. Fissy Fisser does some brilliant work there to keep try. ripping in. That's Ooh. a try. That's a try. Let's go. It'd be very unlucky there, Scout Burger. Oh, no. But remember, Paul Stump, Canal Seister was almost close by as well. If there was a TMO call, who, know, who knows what could have happened there. So the 50-50s. I say leave those for the 50 50. Absolutely. Beauty of club rugby. The whistle is fine. Hold. 
Fissa. Take a look at the scoreboard now, folks. Less than a minute to play, and that's not the way that Saldana Bay would have wanted to start the movement, but the chip over the top, improvising the situation, and it is Stuart Jacobs running it back at them. Oh, he's thrown an interception ball, though. The drama never ends here in Saldana Bay. It is Hrelin that gets it away, and now it's on for Saldana Bay. Mikhail Hansa, the Samoan, taking it in. A wild pass. Tremendous effort from Divan Joshua to keep that alive. Looking for support is Gareth Herzer, whose lungs have no bottom. He is still running in the final minute of the match here today. Fissa sends it back the other way. Gien Genade Hrelin fires it to Hansa, chopped down at the knees. The individual responsibility of tackling has been tremendous from Helderberg today. And the final hoot has just gone in the background. The offload finds Gerza. Gerza throws one back speculatively. It's all loose. It's all scrappy. It's no good for Sultana. They've lost possession. And now it's time for Fusser Shorty to clear the lines. Desperation for Helderberg. And the final whistle blows. It's time to catch your breath, ladies and gentlemen, because the third, fourth playoff has been wrapped up. And there's the mayor of Saltana Bay, who's going to need a light beverage back inside. What a game we have witnessed in the third, fourth playoff. They came to play and they gave absolutely everything fudge. I mean, the mayor of Saltana Bay, Andre Truta, I don't know if there are any dignitaries, the VIPs downstairs who are not on their feet. What an incredible, incredible fixture. We've still got another game. It's the cup final where Safkor will take on Khrotbrak Rafi. But this year, both players can be proud of the entertainment and the effort. Incredible. And there it is, the final score. Who would have thunk it at half time? Helderberg on the rise, but in the end, it is a victory for Helderberg. 26 points to 20 over Saldana Bay. Taking a look at the highlights from Twin Zeros, Helderberg on the front foot in the first half. Yeah, that loose forward trio, Titus Cannibal doing some hard work, and then JD Labaskachri linking up with Erhard Lambrecht really nicely they're so well organized quick hands through to jody cool who kept his depth really nicely does well to hold on but he's cool as a cucumber to put away bauman it's a part of the game they're able to control quite nicely paul stubbs the set piece good with their scrums nice battle there but with their malls i think they had the upper hand over saldana bay and Gen Ganada railing with the soft hands maria linking up so nicely and what a line, Canal Seister. But it was the big problem, the mall for Helderberg. Shane Kennedy with the pick and go. He's been really impressive, the number four lock for Helderberg. 